Hi guys, welcome back to Kelvin's Kitchen. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to make mango. Mango is a Dominican traditional dish served for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Mango is made up of boiled green plantains. The plantains are then mashed with butter and the water they were boiled in. The dish is topped with sauteed red onions that have been cooked with vinegar, queso frito, fried cheese, fried Dominican salami, and fried eggs are usually part of the dish. Dominican mango coming up. To begin, we are peeling two green plantains, like so, cut each end. With a paring knife, cut on one of the sides, all the way down, and use your fingers to peel the skin apart. It is that easy. I know tons of people that struggle peeling plantains, but it's not even that hard at all. It is super easy. Just look at it. Pull the skin apart and you will be done in a few seconds. Once you're done peeling your plantain, we're going to cut it in half. And then we cut it in half again. Do the same thing to each plantain. My plantains are ready and about to go into a pot of hot boiling water. On your stovetop, set a pot full of water over medium high heat and we are going to cook the plantains for about 25 to 30 minutes. Add one teaspoon of salt and just let them cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. Once the plantains are ready, you will see the difference in the color. While the plantains are cooking, let's cut up a red onion just like so. Place your sliced onion in a mixing bowl and we're soaking them in white vinegar. Now, while the plantains are cooking and the onion is soaking in vinegar, we are going to cut up some Dominican salami. We are also using one slice of fresh frying cheese. Mmm, fried cheese. Who doesn't love some fried cheese? I know I do. Do you? On a frying pan over medium high heat, we are frying an egg. I am pretty sure you know how to fry an egg, but if you don't, this is how you do it. You crack an egg and fry it in oil. Pour some oil over the top to cook the top, and you are about done. Fry the salami for a few minutes and the frying cheese. The salami looks ready. Let's get it out of the frying pan, and the cheese is about done too. Now, to make the onion for the mango, in cold oil in a saucepan, add the onion and also add some of the vinegar they've been soaking in. Cook the onion over medium heat for a few minutes until they become nice and soft. Thirty minutes later, and the plantains are cut and ready. Do you see the color? You see how different it is? By the change of color, you can tell when the plantains are cooked. Also, they are super tender. Place the plantains into a mixing bowl so we can get ready to mash them. The water that we cook the plantains in, do not throw it away. We are going to need some of that water. 
pour some of the water to the plantains cooked in. Don't overdo it, but you want to do it a little bit at a time because we don't want plantain soup. We want mangu. Add one tablespoon of butter or two tablespoons of butter or no butter. It doesn't matter. Make it your way. The traditional butter is part of the dish. Grab a potato masher and just mash away. Plantains tend to get really hard after they're cooked. I know a trick on how to keep them nice and soft. Add a little bit of cold water. Keep mashing the plantains until you get it to the texture that you prefer. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. This mango is ready, and you know what time it is. It is serving time! Have you ever had mango before? Please let me know in the comment box down below. Either way, I would like to know. Let's give it a try. This is perfection every single time. Delicious. And there you guys have it. Dominican mango. Enjoy. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. And I think YouTube wants you to watch that recipe and that recipe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, thanks for watching.